5 years if you don't want to miss any of the videos uploaded by me please follow these steps in your cell phone open youtube and in the search box type shaker mass you will see my photograph in a circle and also subscribe button so touch the subscribe button and also touch the bell icon and select all you will get instant notifications whenever i upload any of my video welcome to shaker maths today we are going to learn 6th class mathematics 11th chapter perimeter and area exercise 11.2 before going to do the exercise let us learn the concept circumference it is a word which is made up of two latin words circum and ference where circum meaning around and ference meaning carrying that is carrying any object around the path is called the circumference or the distance around the outer boundary of a circle or simply the perimeter of a circle is called circumference let us take an example take a point c with center c and some radius draw a circle here the curved path of the red line is called the circumference and c is called the center take any point p on the circumference of the circle join cp with a line then cp is called the radius it is generally denoted by small r take another point a on the circumference and join the point c and c with a line and ac is also called the radius small r and the distance between from the point a to the point b through the center is called the diameter ap which is sum of two radius ac plus cp that is r plus r or diameter is twice the radius d is equal to 2r now let us know what is pi pi is the 16th letter of greek alphabets it is used for a famous mathematical constant first by ancient world mathematician archimedes of syracuse and there are history that our indian ancient mathematician aryabhatta also gave value to the pi and pi is a very big number it starts with an integer 3 after that a decimal point and after a decimal point there are so many decimal places and these uh, there are 31 trillion digits are found and still finding these digits are neither ending nor repeating so pi is treated as an irrational number so it cannot be expressed as a rational number or a fraction but scientists thought of using this very big number as an approximate value of pi for this they took first three digits that is 3.14 and also found that when a number 22 is divided by 7 it is also giving the same value 3.14 as a quotient so from that day pi is uh, uh, treated as uh, 22 by 7 as an approximative value of uh, very big uh, number and march 14th is uh, treated as a world pi day because uh, third three integer indicates march and decimal places 14 indicates date and it is also the birthday of the famous scientist albert einstein famous welsh mathematician william jones gave a definition to this famous constant pi he said that it is the ratio of the circumference of any circle to its diameter that is pi is equal to circumference by diameter of any circle of any radius so pi is equal to it is treated as a c by diameter d that is equal to c by diameter is the twice radius that is 2r r by cross multiplication c is equal to pi d that is circumference and c is equal to pi into d is 2r so circumference c is equal to 2 pi r is the formula for any circle now let us do exercise 11.2 first problem find the circumference of the circle with the radius given below a b c now let us do solution a radius r is 7 cm circumference c is equal to 2 pi r that is equal to 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r is 
on simplification by 7 7 1 ja 2 into 22 into 1 is 44 centimeters is the circumference next solution b here radius r is 3.5 centimeters circumference c is 2 pi r that is equal to 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r means 3.5 on simplification by 7 7 1 ja 7 0 0.5 ja that is 2 into 22 is 44 44 into 0.5 is 22 centimeters now solution c radius r is equal to 14 centimeters circumference c is equal to 2 pi r that is equal to 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r is 14 cent so on simplification by 7 7 1 ja 7 2 ja so 2 into 22 is 44 44 into 2 is 88 centimeters is the circumference now second problem given below are the circumferences of different circles find the radius of each circle a b c solution a circumference c is equal to 4.4 meters now c is equal to 2 pi r so 2 pi r is 4.4 now 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r is equal to 4.4 so radius r is equal to 4.4 into 22 by 7 becomes 7 by 22 2 by 1 becomes 1 by 2 on the other side so on simplification by 22 22 1 ja 22 point 2 ja on simplification by 2 2 1 ja 2 point 1 ja so in the numerator 0.1 into 7 into 1 is 0.7 in the denominator 1 into 1 is 1 so radius r is 0.7 meters solution b circumference c is equal to 176 centimeters c can be written as 2 pi r so 2 pi r is 176 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r is equal to 176 now radius r is 176 into 22 by 7 becomes 7 by 22 2 by 1 becomes 1 by 2 on simplification by 22 22 1 ja 22 8 ja on simplification by 2 2 1 ja 2 4 ja so in the numerator 4 into 7 into 1 is 28 by denominator 1 so radius r is 28 centimeters now solution c circumference c is equal to 1.54 centimeters so c is equal to 2 pi r so 2 pi r is equal to 1.54 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r is 1.54 can be written as 154 by 100. So radius r is 154 by 100 into 7 by 22 into 1 by 2. On simplification by 22, 22 1 ja, 22 7 ja. Now in the numerator 7 into 7 into 1 is 49. In the denominator 100 into 1 into 2 is 200. On simplification by 2 to 100 ja to 24 point 5 ja. So 24.5 by 100 since in the denominator there are two zeros the decimal point goes left side to two digits. So radius r becomes 0 0.245 centimeters. Now third problem a goldsmith has 8.8 .8 meters of gold wire with him. He has to make gold rings of 2 centimeters radius. How many such rings he can make with it? Solution radius of a gold ring r is equal to 2 centimeters and circumference c is equal to 2 pi r that is equal to 2 into pi means 22 by 7 r here is 2 that is 2 into 22 is 44 44 into 2 is 88 in the denominator 7 so 88 by 7 centimeters number of gold rings the goldsmith make b n say according to the problem n into circumference of one gold ring is length of the gold wire he has so according to this n into circumference of one gold ring is 88 by 7 centimeters is equal to length of gold wire he has is 8.8 meters but we know that 1 meter is 100 centimeters so 8.8 .8 meters means 8.8 .8 into 100 centimeters now 8.8 .8 can be written as 88 by 10 on simplification by 10 10 1 ja 10 10 ja that is 88 into 10 is 880 centimeters so we can write 880 centimeters in place of 8.8 .8 meters so n is equal to 880 into 88 by 7 becomes 7 by 88 on simplification by 88 88 1 ja 88 10 ja so n is equal to 10 into 7 is 70 rings
Now fourth problem. A wire was bent in the shape of a circle with a radius 7 cm. If the same wire was again used to make a square, then find its side. Solution. Same wire was used to make circle and square. So perimeters of both the figures should be equal. So perimeter of square should be equal to the perimeter or circumference of the circle. If side is A, then perimeter of square is 4A. If radius is R, perimeter of the circle is 2 pi R. So 4A is equal to 2 pi R. So 4A is equal to 2 into pi means 22 by 7. Here R is 7. So on simplification by 7, 7 1 ja. So left side 4A is equal to right side 2 into 22 is 44. So A is equal to 44 by 4. On simplification by 4, 4 1 ja. 4 11 ja. So side of the square is a is equal to 11 centimeters. Fifth problem. In a chemical factory, two wheels of different radius were connected with a belt. Radius of the bigger wheel is 21 centimeters and radius of the smaller wheel is 7 centimeters. If the bigger wheel rotates completely 100 times, find out the number of times that the smaller wheel rotates. Solution. See the picture. Generally, if the bigger wheel takes 100 times, the smaller wheel rotates more than 100 times. Now, number of times the bigger wheel rotated is 100 and number of times the smaller wheel rotated B, N, C. Since they are connected with a belt, N into perimeter of smaller wheel is equal to 100 into perimeter of bigger wheel. So, N into 2 pi R, small r is the radius of the smaller wheel is equal to 100 into 2 pi into big R is the radius of the bigger wheel. Now n is equal to 100 into 2 pi into big r by 2 pi into small r. Both 2 pi r get cancelled. So n is equal to 100 into 21 by 7 because big r is the radius of the bigger wheel that is equal to 21 centimeters and small r is the radius of the smaller wheel that is 7 centimeters. On simplification by 7, 7, 3 ja. So n is equal to 100 into 3 is 300 times. Now sixth problem. Mohan is playing with a ring of diameter 14 centimeters, which is made up of metallic wire. When his brother asked, Mohan stretched the wire and made it as two equal parts. With those both parts, he made another two small rings. Find the radius of smaller ring. Solution Diameter of the ring D is 14 centimeters. Then circumference C can be written as pi into D, where pi is 22 by 7 and D is 14. On simplification by 7, 7 2 ja, that is 22 into 2 is 44 centimeters. Observe the words so two equal parts. So, uh, wire is stretched and uh, divided into two equal parts. So, new circumference becomes uh, half of the circumference, that is 44 by 2, which is equal to 22 centimeters. But circumference can be written as 2 pi r is equal to 22. That is 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r is equal to 22. So radius of smaller ring r is equal to 22 into 22 by 7 becomes 7 by 22. 2 by 1 becomes 1 by 2. So 22 so r get cancelled. Now smaller ring r is equal to 7 by 2 that is 3.5 centimeters. Now number 7. In designing an iron grill, a blacksmith needed 70 rings with a radius of 7 cm each. Find how much length of the rod he required if the wastage is 20 cm. Solution. Radius of the ring R is 7 cm. Now perimeter of the ring that is circumference is 2 pi R. So perimeter of 70 rings is 70 into 2 pi R. That is equal to 70 into 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into R is 7. On simplification by 7, 7 1 ja. Now 70 into 2 is 140, 140 into 22 is 3080 centimeters. Now 20 centimeters is wastage. So length of the rod required is 3080 plus 20. So 3100 centimeters. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karmas.